In this video, we are going to check out how to use Kami as a student. So first we're going to go to Google Classroom and open up a Kami assignment. And then there are a couple options for how to access this assignment. And your teacher might have a guide for you attached to how to access um, Kami. And so you can open that up and it will give you some directions. So for the first few times that you access Kami, um, the very first thing that you'll need to do if you don't have it already is add the Kami extension. And so there's a link in that guide for students that your teacher might have added and you'll need to click add to Chrome if you don't already have it um, in that upper right corner. And then it has some steps with how to click the open with Kami button to open your assignment and then turn it in when you are done. So that is some helpful steps that you can um, access that might be attached to your assignment. If not, you can ask your teacher to give you access to it. So we're going to click open with Kami, and that is one great way to open up your assignment automatically directly in the Kami app. And uh, this is what that looks like. So that's one way to open up your assignment is click the open with Kami option. You can also click on the um, PDF and it will open up like this. You can choose open with Kami in the upper right or the open with drop down and annotate with Kami. So all of those options will open up your PDF um, from your assignment in Kami. The easiest and quickest way is to click that open with Kami button. Now the very first time that you ever open Kami or a Kami assignment um, with that open with Kami button, then you'll most likely have to um, join the district license so that you have full access to all the tools. So once you've uh, joined, then you can refresh your screen once you're in Kami and you've activated the district license, just like we've shown here on the screen. You only have to do this one time. Once you do that and refresh your screen, then all of those little locks will go away on the left menu and you'll have full access to all of the tools in Kami. So now that we've activated our district license, we've opened our assignment in Kami, we're gonna go through how to use the tools on the left. So the first tool is the dictionary where you can highlight any word in the file and it will give you a definition for that word and that will pop up. The next option is read aloud where you can read aloud all of the text on the page. You can um, select what voice and what speed you would like the um, text read aloud to you. You can pause and uh, repeat. Then the next section is for highlighting and annotating. So you can choose different highlighters. Um, the freehand highlighter is um, really nice to use. Um, that allows you to highlight whatever you would like and you can change the color down at the bottom. And so you can um, choose um, to highlight just using your mouse um, with the freehand highlighter. So we can highlight um, some text right here and then we'll add a little bit more um, highlighting over on the right. And then you can also erase any of those annotations um, using the eraser feature down towards the bottom. So back up to markup, you can also use the box highlighter if you have a larger section of text that you want to highlight um, and you can drag um, the edges around the text that you want to, um, to highlight. You can again change the color um, and we can highlight those different sections using the box highlighter. You can strike through and you can underline text as well, again just highlighting um, and it will underline um, what you have highlighted. So those are the um, markup tools um, to help um, annotate and highlight um, as you go through um, the text in your assignment. You can add different comments um, to your file. You can add a text comment um, along with the right margin, very similar to Google Docs. So you can leave um, a comment like that typing in. You can also use voice typing um, to um, add a comment. Click enter when you're done. You can leave a, an audio um, voice comment um, as well and um, just record your thinking um, with a, an audio clip. So that's the voice comment with the little microphone icon. You can also leave a video comment or a screen capture comment using the comment um, tool. So you can add a text box anywhere and there are lots of tools along the top that come up 
when you add a text box, you can um, edit the font, the size, you can change it to bold or underline, you can change the color, the highlight color, and um, you can also um, make it a bullet list um, or um, add a clickable link. You can um, add emojis and you can also use voice typing um, using that microphone. So you can change again um, all sorts of formatting um, along um, the top menu and you can click on that microphone and it will record what you say. So I can use voice typing um, and it will add in what you say out loud. And then you can edit that as needed. So that's the microphone in the upper right. Um, as long as you have the text box selected, um, it will record um, what you say out loud. So um, below the text box, you can add equations using these symbols. So if you are working on a math assignment, you can build out your equations that way. You can also use the drawing feature to free draw onto the assignment. So this can also be really helpful in math assignments. So you can just use your mouse or trackpad to draw directly onto the paper. Um, or assignment um, and then you can use shapes so you can draw um, a circle a square rectangle um, or a triangle depending on how you stretch it out um, it can be different shapes you can choose to change the thickness of the line or you can have it be a solid color by changing it to fill and you can draw um, different uh, thickness lines so those are some options under shapes to help um, respond to an assignment or build out an assignment. And you can always erase anything um, that you have added. And then under the add media section, you can add videos and images and stickers to your assignment. So using the Google image search, you can search for images just like you would um, in a regular Google search. And you can insert those directly into your Kami assignment as needed. So depending on your instruction, you might be asked to find images to support um, your work and you can do that with the add media button. Once you have completed your assignment, there is a turn in button in the upper right corner. So whenever you're ready to turn it into Google Classroom, all you have to do is click on that button and it will turn it in in Google Classroom for you. It does save as you go. So if you um, are working in Kami and you um, need to come back to it, you don't have to worry, you can just open it up later and then you click that turn in button and it is turned in for you in Google Classroom and ready to go. That is how you use all of the Kami tools and open up and turn in a Kami assignment in Google Classroom.